All right, here is how to install the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and Beyond Visuals mod. So first you go to mvcib.com and you scroll down, pick your download link, either Mediafire or Nexus Mods. And then once the download is done, you'll have this uh, seven and a half gig zip file. You're gonna right click that, go to extract, uh, and then you'll have this folder here that says MVCI Beyond 1.0. You're going to go inside this folder. You're going to see another folder that says MVCI. You're going to right click that and you're going to go to cut. And then you go to Steam, right click Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, go to manage, browse local files. And now you're looking at the installation directory for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and you see that it already has an MVCI folder. So you're going to right click inside, not on anything, just inside in like a blank spot in the folder, right click there and then paste. Um, here it's going to kind of go, hey, you know, this is going to overwrite stuff. So here we'll just click right into, uh, apply to all, right into. On Windows, it may or may not complain because there are no overlapping files. Um, so it might just let you do the paste. It might say, hey, you know, you're overwriting, da 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 da. So just do apply to all and just merge or, or whatever the, the option is. Um, so we're just gonna let this finish here. Okay, now that the merge is done, if this was your first time modifying this game, you can stop the video here and just start playing. But if you have any previous modding that you've done, you know, like older versions of the balance patch, for example, then you'll have to go into the MVCI folder, content, packs, mods, and then sort it by last modified. So all the oldest files are at the top. And here there's an old version of the, the balance patch, and we don't want that here, so we delete that. And the rest of the stuff is pretty much just uh, the current version of the visuals.